So here we are, the area of Brooklyn. It's a little windy today. And uh, a bunch of politicians out, right? Coming up on politician season, right? They're all out. So I came down here to uh, interview Dan Donovan. Dan Donovan, the Republican candidate for con U.S. Congress, right? And so far I haven't been able to... I spoke to his his campaign manager and he saw me coming. Trying to interview him. And, uh, and when he saw me, he ran the other way. So <laughs> I don't know if he that interview, but I'm here right now. And uh, there's other politicians out, so we'll talk to them. We'll get to talk to them. So this is... Um, Welcome to Brooklyn, New York. This is uh, a street fair, right? It's an old school street fair. You got all the people out on the street, right? This is what they do in Brooklyn. And uh, selling stuff is vendors, ice cream trucks, you know, stuff over here. You know, it's like merchandise. Uh, it's all kinds of activity. Kids playing basketball. It's gonna get loud too. It's early in the morning, and uh, it's gonna get loud pretty soon. Bands play out in the side streets. You know, DJs playing out in the street. But again, it's political season, so very soon uh, there's gonna be an election, June 26. The Democrats and the Republicans uh, running against each other, all lobbying for position. Uh, there was somebody down down the other end that I, I might I saw a voter voter registration drive going on. Maybe we'll go talk to those guys while I'm waiting for Dan Donovan. Like I said, I don't think I'm going to get that interview. I shouldn't have told him I was coming. I don't know why politicians are so coward cowardly, but they want it to always go in their way. Like if you can't answer, it might be loud over there. <laughs> That's all kinds of stuff, you know. It used to be like, uh, it used to be mostly like Zeppelin's, you know, Zeppeli street food. And now it's like a little shopping mall, you know. But, uh, I'm trying to find those registration, voter registration guys. You know, talk a little politics. There it is, you want to go to. I hope the wind isn't too bad. I feel it. I feel the wind. Hard being, hard being a, a vegetarian. Oh, let's talk to this guy. How you doing? How are you? Are oh, you yeah, yeah, campaigning for uh, for Max Rose? My name is Marcus Conti. I'm shooting a YouTube video, uh, mostly politics. I know who. Can I bring you into my frame? Do you mind? So we're here in Bay Ridge, uh, Brooklyn. Bay Ridge uh, Democrats. Uh, Bay Ridge Dems. Bay, Bay Ridge Dems out on the street, and they're pushing. Let me guess, Max Rose is We're the... We're supporting Max Rose for Congress. 
My name is Ralph Perfetto. I'm a candidate for Democratic male uh, district leader in, oh. in the 64th Assembly District. And, cool. and I'm just wondering, what, what is this for? Is this oh, yeah. Thing? I'm a uh, YouTube blogger. I'm a uh, just an independent video guy that makes crazy videos. But I also uh, follow politicians. I'm also running for the United States Senate myself right. as a, as a write-in candidate. So... Um, well, my, my feeling is, yeah. from the president all the way down, president of the United States all the way down to to the local county committee member, if you're running for an elected office, you are a political servant, and you do the best for the people of your district, your community, your your city, state, and country. So, how do you think uh, how do you think Trump's doing so far? Is this a good job? It's no, be honest. Re- uh, that, very interesting. I'm wondering if this thing with North Korea is going to come off. I'm, I'm very much more concerned, though, that World War Three will not start with North Korea, but it will start in the Middle East. Yeah. I, well, he pulled out of the uh, Iran nuclear deal because yes. a lot of us, a lot of us in the middle, believe that it had to do with the, you know, the price of oil and such. That that Iran getting a nuclear bomb is really not a possibility. Because if they did. They would get uh, and, and hit pretty hard. And then you got Benjamin Netanyahu, yeah. who, does, who, who doesn't want to have peace with the Palestinian two-state solution. So maybe we can have peace in the Middle East. Right. And he may he may be the cause of a war happening over there. Yeah. I, I fear that. I truly fear that. I wish that we could have peace in the Middle East. We send our, our young men and women in perfectly health condition out there to fight, and then they come back uh, either in a flag draped drape coffin or uh, missing limbs, right. like I said. And at one point, forget about making America great. Let's make America honest. Mm-hmm. Well, can I, ask you, can I ask you a democratic question that's Go ahead. Uh, in the note of honesty? When a lot of us, uh, again, in the middle, were supporting Bernie Sanders when... Hillary Clinton and Bernie Sanders came through in 2016 primary, and not only did we feel that uh, Bernie Sanders was being cheated, but there was actual evidence there, there on was, the table that, that they cheated. No, it wasn't just a just a thought; it was a reality. Right. Okay. So how do we how do we overcome that? Okay. Look, I'm a lifelong okay. Democrat. I've been here my whole life. I grew up in Staten Island, Brooklyn, but, just like you. You know, but okay, so how do we overcome that? Let, let, let me tell you. Because yeah. I had I had this conversation with Max. On camera, and I, I told him, I said, what do we do about but it? But now you're having a conversation with, with Dr. Fettel. Okay? Yeah. And and my feeling is this. Unfortunately, people made a, a tag on uh, on Bernie Sanders. He's a socialist, a communist, which is a lot of baloney. And if you if all of our seniors looked at, at the Social Security Act of 1935 that went into effect, in 1936, FDR. that's that's a social social program, okay? As, as much as Medicare and Medicaid is, and these are all things that we, the majority of Americans, benefit from. So I think we have to stop looking at these negatives that are pushed out to us for certain, uh, 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 let's say, personal interest groups, not public interest groups, personal interest groups. And go out there and do the right thing. And I like Bernie Sanders. I, yeah. I wanted Bernie Sanders, and I hope that he runs again. What about uh, what about uh, Cuomo? He, she's uh, he's getting challenged from the left by uh, Cynthia by Nixon. Cynthia Nixon. Yeah. Uh, she's making a good effort. I don't believe that she will win, but I think Mario Cuomo, uh, whatever your your Andrew. It, whatever Mario's your, the father. Remember? What? Mario's the father. Andrew. Father yeah. Andrew. Andrew. I'm sorry. Right. You're yeah. correct. You're correct, because his father said something. Better. Chris is the uh, Chris, Chris is, is the brother the, on the, CNN, right? Fake media, right? He, he's the uh, fake media. Yes, <laughs> but but anyway, let's let, let's get back to Andrew Cuomo. Yeah. Andrew Cuomo is doing a lot physically in in this state to rehab the state. There are some uh, some issues that he was on the wrong side of. I think he's trying to correct that because he, he's. He views himself as a national image, and uh, you know, rightfully so, he's trying to bring things around, and he still has time between now and 2020 to prove it. Yeah. 
does. And, and we'll, 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 see see what, what we'll, happens. we'll see what he does. So, uh, to uh, to my audience, just uh, where can we uh, find out more about you? Get, throw your name out. You have a website or a YouTube? My name my, my name is Ralph Perfetto. P S and Peter E R F is and Frank E T T O. I was the New York State committee man in this area for 18 years, and then I lost in uh, in 2010, and now I'm I'm running for the post again because it's vacant. And if you want the spelling of my name, there we go. Right there, the Italian flag, right? Well, he's a pleasure meeting you, sir. Good luck and, in the election. And your name again? My name is Marcus Conti. You can go on Marcus YouTube. Marcus Conti, my pleasure. Marcus, Marcus. and Conti. Hey, Italian well, Conti. Let, let, let's just be our first name basis. Marcus. And I'm Ralph. Nice to meet you, Ralph. Peace. Have a good day. Ah, oh, Ralph was awesome. It's a great interview, right? Yes, sir. I wonder where this is going to be this week. Oh, it's uh, YouTube. Okay. Marcus Conti. Marcus Conti. Yeah, okay. you uh, M A R C U S Marcus Conti. Hi. C O N T I? C O N T E. C O N T E. Marcus yeah. Conti. Uh, You'll find it. There's a couple of hundred videos so you're up. Put up your video up of the... Yeah, I'll put I'll put this up. This will okay, this will go up sometime today or tomorrow. Ah, politicians getting free press. Ah. No, there's one other guy down the block. I forgot. That's pretty cool. Right? That was pretty cool. That's a good interview. I saw the uh, other guy. What's his name? Justin Brannon. So that guy, I had. I, I'm not really sure what he's running for. I think it's like a a seat somewhere. But he's a good guy. Man. He's a good guy. He's a Bernie Sanders supporter, right? That's an honest guy. I was trying to trick him. Right? They had Bernie Sanders, you know. They came through here. They robbed him. I wanted him to say, "Oh, they robbed him." No, he said they get, he got robbed. Everybody knows it. It's not a mystery. Bernie Sanders got robbed when he came to New York. And he took it. He swallowed it. Sucked it up. Hell no. We don't do that shit. Not sucking up anything. What's this all about? I'm selling some medicine. I want to talk to them. Uh, let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know where else. Enjoy the ride, right? I don't know where else to go, really. I think I passed. I'm going to back here. So again, Brooklyn. I'm going to shut it down for now until I find something uh, interesting to film. Peace.